but it won't go farther than a galaxy. <laughs> Is that another <laughs> lie? No, I mean, that's what I... Can I roll? I mean, that's sure. what I said. <laughs> yeah, go I ahead. that was the idea behind the thing, but... Okay, well... Greg, you know we live in this galaxy, right? Yeah, I know. And so, you know, all so, 760 of these morphers will live in this galaxy. Well, that's, that's you know, we have time. We can, we can get out of this galaxy. Get to a different galaxy? I don't think that's how this works. Just, it, it won't destroy, it, just to be clear, Lex's thing is that it, he's pretty sure it wasn't going to infect the entire galaxy. Oh, okay, that's what it was. It wouldn't, it yeah. wouldn't spread to the entire galaxy. It's not. It doesn't have that type of uh, interstellar <clears throat> capabilities. Question: gonna, Do I I'm, do? How much do I know about the scourge? Um, you know that it exists, and the UJSS are fighting it. Uh, they say it's bad. Oh, because she learned the the history like I did. Uh, that, yeah, none of that is relevant to okay. the, the scourge, though. They're... The extraterrestrial or extra galactic. Uh, they're newer invaders. Than... Yep, they're the the newest Xeno development. Because there is galactical, extra galactical travel that exists. That yep, that's it's difficult with a warp. Like it's never been done with a warp drive, but but who the fuck knows what could happen if the scourge gets infected with it. Or, and then it goes somewhere else. I'm on Greg's screen. I'm gonna pull up like news stories from the 2020 coronavirus. <laughs> like, you see how terrible like uh, <laughs> it was for like contaminating this thing. Well, you got your your sleeper plague. Mm. Yeah. Well, this regardless, coronavirus. We can't wipe out the fleet with the cataclysm. Not before it wipes us out. And all the morphers. I say we just start by waking up the morphers. We'll help them get the rest of these guys out of here. Uh, and then we'll figure something out. I'm going to interject What's... and be like, I think it might be. Can I determine if it would be faster if I just like transport them over to the teleport pad? Uh... Waking them up. Uh, well, you, you currently don't have a lot of manpower to transport all the cells. Oh, I thought you said, like, I have, like, like grab shit. Right, yeah, it, it's things. not automated, though. Like, they, they, you, there is the, it is logistically possible, but uh, it's not, like, uh, like, robotic or anything like that. So you need the people to do it. So if we wake uh, up 200 uh, morphers, okay. they can all start working? Correct. <laughs> That's What's these objects? Not even, uh, you could probably do it, like, like 50. Siren, do you know what what's in subjects? Nope. Well, I don't know. Do I? Uh, that is a separate section. <laughs> yeah. In the network, which yeah, you don't, you haven't broken into yet. Um, clone Greg slips off a second and dips into that vault. Oh. Keep dropping out. Yep. <laughs> oh, I did. Okay. What'd you uh, say? Clone Greg slips away and dips into that vault. <laughs> okay, teleport. Yep. Okay. I mean, I can I notice to see if my bodyguard just leaves me. Yeah. Um, you are in the network. Does Ari notice? Connected to security. Uh, yeah. Give me uh, yeah. a notice roll for that. For Ari. Uh, just Siren. I feel like uh. Because you guys are in the containment cells right now, right? Yeah. Well, Ari, Ari. Ari's Oh, no, Ari's Siren. there too. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I forgot Ari is with Siren. So, yes, Ari as well. Any minuses for Siren? Uh, minus two, let's say. I got a seven. All right. I got a five. Clone Greg get. Oh, um, sorry, sorry. Eh. All right, we're doing opposed. Seven. I mean, I might have got a seven. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, seven. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna penny or nothing. I just, I'm just going first. Okay, race. so, and Siren, you tied that. Wait, yeah. is, is this this is stealth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do notice that Clone Greg is gone after like about a minute. I'll message Annabelle. So, uh, Clone Greg can make the teleport rolls to get into the vault. Seventeen. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Well, minus four. Uh, okay, well, yeah, that's still funny. And you actually have enough tell because you have the map now, so you can get directly in there. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> so, <laughs> so is missing? Yep. Yeah. Don't look at me, um, I don't control him. I, I'm well, going to cut off. He messaged Greg. me! Yeah, it, it was a direct message. Oh, yeah. yeah, Greg, you have no idea that I know. Gotcha, okay. I thought you did a, a comms, like a whole, like, hey, Greg, get your shit together. No, no, no. <laughs> Sneaky. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to cut off Clone Greg's uh, any sort of information I'm feeding him. He doesn't get cameras or nothing. Okay, so <laughs> as, as Clone Greg approaches the, well, he teleports into the vault, and it's this, like, black metal sort of, like, sphere that he's standing in. Uh, in the center, sort of, like, on this pedestal, there is a um, an orb about five feet in diameter with like a, a bone like material. Um, and as he like steps forward to it, all of the like map, map data and like active feeds that, uh, attached to his helmet like flicker out. <laughs> so uh, I'm, right. like, I'm so... gonna try to read Greg's mind. All right. So uh, that's an opposed because... smarts roll. Uh, yes. What happens when that and like when when the mind read enters? Do I know it's uh, being probed? Uh, no. It's if I think if Annabelle gets a raise, then you don't know. Uh, on the opposed rule. Double check on the stealthy thing. Cause there, there's a there's a separate thing for doing it stealthily. Uh, So the the thing is, I usually don't care about it because I just rewrite their memory. Right. And oh, I reading a person's mind without being noticed is a minus four to the roll. Yeah. If so. I don't want to just let them know and then rewrite their memory, then I have to take a penalty. Yeah, so you're rolling at minus four, but the target is only aware if you roll a one on your smart stuff. I mean... Yeah, maybe I'll just. Uh... Yep. But it's still an opposed smarts roll from you, yep. Greg. Okay. Okay. I'm fucking smart, but I know Annabelle's good at this. I got I got the D12. I bet you got a plus in there though. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. All right. So yep. Get your numbers and hold I on. Got... Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say anything. I gotta be better at that. Well, you you will have to because I got a nine. Okay. Well, so he just said if you if you beat it or not, because then you can be. Yeah, after Benny's being rolled. Right. So does does yours beat a nine, Greg? I like, but that's what I mean. I not without rolling a Benny. I gotta my first roll. No. Oh, you, you roll and spend Benny's until you get oh. what you want. Right. Okay. And then you compare. Yeah. Gotcha. Ugh. I was kind of tricky. We haven't really done this before very much. <laughs> All right. Can I drug him while this is happening? <laughs> well, you, you wouldn't know that. Nothing, yeah, yeah, nothing's <laughs> going on. <laughs> One of the animal clones just sort of <laughs> turns her head slightly. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I'm in? No, no, hold on. Eleven. Well, I get a free reroll. Alright. Kill the instinct. Alright. I failed. Um, so I, like, does, does, it, does she tell I'm resisting now? Uh, it's just a subconscious resistance. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Because if, it, like, uh, players can tell this is important, because I wouldn't be throwing Benny's away. Yep, you are unaware. Right. Um... Okay, well, I 
I can't spend a Benny anymore. But I can just keep going. Uh -oh. And try again. <laughs> You're gonna Unless wear me I out. One. You're gonna wear me out. I mean, out. there's three of me. Oh, no. <laughs> You're gonna take away all my bennies. Even if I roll a one, I think if you notice uh, I'm mind reading you, I'm gonna force my way in there. So while while this is happening, uh, yep. anything else you're doing, Siren, with the network? Uh, I'm starting to prepare whatever I need to prepare for transport. So gaining access to this grav shaft and then. <laughs> okay, the are you doing the grav shaft drop or the teleport? Well, I have to use. I have to have grav shaft to get to the teleport, right? Uh, there there is like a. There's a like a walkway around the side that you could okay. use. Uh, I'll probe the teleport. Okay, give me a, a roll for that. Ah, <sighs> uh, five. Five. Yep. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so you get uh, access. the The teleport system is. Uh, fairly intricate. Uh, you don't think you're going to be able to like gain complete control over it, but you think you can you can like hijack it for your purposes. Perfect. Do I get an idea of where other teleport pads would be? Uh, yep. There's there's two down on or there's two on floor four, uh, and then there's one on floor five there, and then there's the one on the surface. Okay. Um... In the meantime, can I just start rerouting all emergency reserves to four four? Floor four. Instead of going <laughs> up to the surface, just start sending the UGs down there. Uh, sorry, were you rerouting, rerouting what exactly? The, the teleport. The 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 uh, reinforcements that are okay. going up the the surface. Right, right. right. Um. Yeah, so that's not actually coming from this teleport pad. It's coming from the floor four teleport pads. Oh, okay. This one is in. Never mind then. Perfect. Can I see what's in this emergency reserves rooms? Uh, that would be another role that you could. Yes. Yeah, I can I get control of, or like control of that wing, I guess. Yeah. Nine. Nine. All right. So um, the there's a similar sort of storage, like stasis pod storage, in uh, these subject sections, and the emergency roofs are, are kind of like that. But there is also like sort of armory attachments as well, um, and the storage seems to be uh, in the reserves. Um, groups of soldiers that are labeled uh, apotheosis legionaries in the files not much else information is is listed on the system oh god can i shut those down uh you could wake them up that's, nope. that's the only remote <laughs> option you have <laughs> um okay so meanwhile uh we'll do Another, so Annabelle and then Greg clone. After that, so this is another opposed smarts roll, Greg. Oh, a whole another one. I'm not keeping my eleven. Fuck. Well, I'm dead then. There's no fucking way. I Sneaky mind one. readers. Yep. <laughs> and I, I mean, Three it goes them. until I either get in or I roll a one on my reroll. <laughs> gotcha. All right. And then uh, she gets in anyway. Yeah. And then I, and well, and then we know what's happening. All right. right. All right. Well, I got a four. All right. Well, I got a one. Huh. Three roll ten. I'm in. Okay. So now I have. What no are you? Idea. So what are you trying to find out? Correct. Uh. But this is the what, part where I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. What's What's Greg clone doing? So yeah, Greg, you can uh, ex explain <laughs> oh your God. your thought process around this. I guess <laughs> I'm oh. mind controlling somebody who borrowed my power to make a clone. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> to understand what their clone is. Or mind reading. So does does my would I? I mean, that's I mean, do I know what he's doing, or would I do like I guess? Uh, I mean, not directly. 
you know what you would do. All right, that's and what I you, mean. You know what you like told I, him. Yeah. That you guys were going to. Right. Uh, but see, like that was kind of his own. Um, like he got he got the information just like I did, and then acted. But I mean, I know right. I know what he's acting on. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you don't know where he is exactly, but I mean, of all people, Annabelle's familiar with that concept. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, he is going to see how it's activated. Uh, just basically see see if he can uh, learn learn it before everyone else does, and uh, see how basically yeah how it's activated and if like learn all the timer learn all that stuff basically to kind of turn it on if the conversation goes badly of no we're not going to use it we're going to use it like he's going to have like a like none of you know how to work it so if it needs to come to it he's going to fucking turn it on kind of thing that's, that's basically it he's going to because you know Siren can learn it for fast like alright there's no way I'm going to out technology Siren so I need to get in there and figure this out so that's about it he's going in there to learn it alright so you gain that knowledge. Okay. Um, then, so you're still looking at me, Annabelle? Like cocked her head and is looking. <laughs> so I'm. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna telepathy you. Prime or clone? Uh. Prime. I mean, okay. you and you and Clone have the same mind, more or less, so he can hear it too. Oh, he can. Yeah, you guys have telepathy, so or you could tell him. I guess I don't know if telepathy phone works that way. Oh, the clones don't have telepathy. Oh, that's, that's just not, me. Yeah, that's that's, that's a different power. power. Yeah. Yeah, like I only take the. Base. He doesn't have telepathy. I take the. Base it's fine. Power. I'll I'll just tell I'll just telepathy Greg Prime. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. This is fun. <laughs> like, this is like where I bet uh, the DM is like, all right, um, now along here, the, the, the party will start to self destruct. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I know what your clone's doing. For the sake of what my people did to yours, I'm going to let you have that power and not fight you. But. For the sake of mine, I beg you not to use it. And that, that's it. Uh, I guess I give you a longing look. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see the face plate that's like the bright pink anime smiling face? <laughs> Just <laughs> impassive. Yep. yep. But I know what's in there. So, yeah, I, I guess Clone Greg does have, like, physical communications okay. to you, so you can communicate with him in that way. Mm -hmm. Just not telepathic. Uh, so Clone Greg stands before the uh, the Cataclysm. All right. Kind of walk up to it, and uh, you see, uh, like, as you kind of approach, there's, like, a... Um, you see a small, like, uh, like pinhole type thing um, at, like, near the center. And uh, perhaps in response to motion, this little sort of, like, spiked vertebrae thing, like, sort of comes out of it. <laughs> Creepy. It's like a neural uplink. All right. Uh... But I like, sit on there and like it attaches like the matrix. Yeah, they just like attach to your any part of your nervous system. All right, uh, fuck it. Uh, um, yeah, let it attach. All right, so you like reach your hand out and touch it. Mm -hmm. Put my spine. You feel in my like hand. kind of a, a, a slight tingle, and then uh, a voice in your head uh, says. Uh, your status as legacy agent is recognized. Would you like to analyze, uh, 
would you like to activate the Cataclysm project or commence project annihilation? Uh, further information on project annihilation. <laughs> project annihilation is irreversible. The annihilation process will destroy 99.9999999% of hazardous biomatter within the containment cell. Within containment cell? Yeah, within the, the ball. Oh, okay, so it destroys itself. Yep. Okay. Or Only 99.9999999% of it, though. Yeah, so it could still be, like, possibly salvaged or whatever one in a yeah billion yep. million someone all right uh and then uh, i would ask possible or s scope of range of cataclysm the parasites viruses and plagues within will consume and destroy everything around them after the allotted time uh, release time. Containment on an interstellar scale is not guaranteed. <laughs> and then uh, uh, speed of rate or, uh, of death? Estimated death time vary from instantaneous to several days. Oh. Busting my balls here, box. All right. Um. Exact action of the parasites is unknown. Level of sapience is expected to be minimal. Uh. But Pat zero. Minimal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is there, um, are there programming capabilities for detonation? Do you wish to proceed with activation? <laughs> <laughs> Not at this time. And I jack out or whatever. Yeah, just pull your, pull your finger out of the meld. Yep. All right. I almost set a timer. <laughs> but no. um, so, back with the rest of the party and uh, Siren, what are you guys doing next? Uh, actually, you know, I think enough time has gone by that the uh, the ship battle stuff uh, could use an update. Yeah. Uh, so currently you guys are sitting at, if, if you went with offensive, you'd have a 70% chance of winning victory. Oh, pretty good to me. Yeah, Let's is. do it. All right. Yeah. Ah, Ramming speed. Him. Someone roll a D100. Who wants I'm to not roll this? The trade. Below 70%. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Yeah, Fuck. you're, you're <laughs> right now. You're the champion of human. So. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so I have to roll 70 or below, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh oh. Fuck! Yeah. 76! Oh no! Can you use any? So. No. No, it's a, not a trait roll. So. You, uh. are still close to victory, but also much closer to defeat yeah. as the battle rages on. Uh, high casualties on both sides. So, wow. where your smaller ships are destroyed, a lot of theirs are. <laughs> now we have to go defensive. Well, or we could do <laughs> another offensive and just win or lose. Well, we win and lose, or just lose. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if you fill oh, up your right. victory track at the same time the defeat progress goes up, you would uh, win with heavy casualties. But if we, yeah. if we get... If we get one on the on the defense, we take one away. But we have to do that several times before it's possible. Yeah, we can't possibly win doing that. Right. Balance would be the only way to really 
But even then, we've yeah. rolled really yeah. shit on this. You have track. rolled really bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, back down below, uh, the battle is continuing. the The outcome is not as good uh, as it was. Well, the outcome is still up in the air, but how's, you're definitely running out of time, one way or another. How's Kraken doing? Uh, so the Kraken, uh, there's like a you. No, you wouldn't hear it. You're way too far below. But uh, the Kraken says uh, through comms. All right. Uh, Guys down there, uh, we've blown the door up. Looks like it's a hell of a long way down. All right. Do you want me to send you to the the fuckers that are teleporting to you? Down there. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Good. <laughs> I mean, they're just gonna do the same thing we're we're doing to them. I'm guessing. Ah, uh, they don't know that we can do this though. But yeah, you're right. The only reason we're holding them off is because of the choke point. That's why teleporting's fucking stupid. You ain't wrong. Anyways, you guys better get the hell up here before we uh, run out of bullets. Well, we're gonna start sending some friends up pretty soon. Much appreciated. Not not friends that can help fight. Just I'll let you know. Don't shoot. Ah, them. fuck. <laughs> Cuts the, the comms as you hear several like explosion sounds go off <laughs> in the background. Hey Silas, you want to go kill people? He, I mean, that'd be fun. I think there aren't people to kill down here. You don't think? Well, should we see? Should we see what's in the subjects? Uh, no, no. I think I no. We but, we do not have much time. No, we don't. <laughs> But Subjects might want to kill. People. There, there, there's people on the floor above us that are teleporting up to the top and wreaking havoc, and we should stop them. Oh, can you send me there? Can you uh, teleport me there? Yep. Uh, can, would... can I get camera feed of floor four? Uh, there is no cameras on floor four. Can I? Would I have an idea how long it would take them to to sub or like subvert any turning off of their teleporters? Um, I, I would do. Your, I guess it depends on who they have on their side end of things, or how the system is set up. You're not sure. Well, okay. Sure All right, Silas. We'll we'll use that as a backup plan for now. Just try to wake up. The one actually i can wake up the healthy ones right yep you can wake them up from the the network all right greg say hi to your family and then i push the button all right so the uh several the doors kind of like open and uh several of the pods in uh what, what are you guys doing i guess uh the greg besides mine, right? giving each other side eye <laughs> oh my god I, greg's like like Two seconds from busting into a speech, <laughs> <laughs> and then the doors open. Yep. So the uh, the pods uh, hiss open, and uh, you know a blob of of meat and bone and c occasional eyes just kind of like ooze out onto the floor. Oh God! Uh, I'm going to the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like surround around you. Um, All right, I would start speaking morpher and, All right. and saying like you know everyone uh it's it's all right you know be be calm you're being released from stasis uh, this is a massive rescue we have no time to explain you know as as they're coming to kind of thing right right but uh <laughs> time is of the essence and we all need to we all need to uh flee um, a couple of the ones near you kind of like uh, say really the uh, our genetic memory is blank oh no like, as I said you've been in stasis uh, this is a some sort of facility I'm sure things have been done 
to you that I cannot explain at this moment. But please, this is our this is our there chance. At a says, uh, I have had dreams of torment for countless years. Oh, fun. <laughs> we need something to copy. Uh, several of them kind of like like Silas, you, you climb standing on the ceiling. You, you suddenly feel like a lot of the eyes are looking towards you. Me? Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't they want to be fast? Wouldn't that be helpful? They don't have the copycat no, power. No, they're, 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 they're not me. They, they oh, shape. like they want to eat? No. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God. I had to. They might. I had to answer a call. What what's going on in the last? Few uh, morphers are, are out. Uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of morphers out in like their natural form, kind of squelching along the ground around you, uh, talking yes. to Greg. Yeah. Um, and they're all they all kind of like start looking at Silas and kind of some at you, but you're in power armor. I I ask, um, are you seeking assimilation? Yes. L for forms copying uh, they only need DNA like they don't need to Silas do you oh, shed alright lick me if you bite me though <laughs> I will hit you once and that how will be how many enough. Annabelle's can you. we have <laughs> there are 253 <laughs> morphers that just went out of stasis oh my god can they can they um copy me like they can't I, copy you because you're you're so. a morpher. you don't have your natural form is theirs i didn't but. think so i'm like yeah what if i like kind of morph into so, like my huge data bank of humans you know so i guess Can annabelle and, and silas do, are you guys do, do you want to let the morphers lick you <laughs> oh, i mean bro I'm, I'm legacy yeah let's do it <laughs> all right oh so yeah you, you you you're with me i'll just like pop open my faceplate <laughs> Spit on my palm and hold it out. Right. <laughs> You're gonna have to do a lot of spitting. Yeah. <laughs> Go around, shake, shake hands. So like, or, as soon as you can, I like you, pull my gauntlet back or something. Uh, yeah, you could do that. Go around, shake hands. <laughs> and Silas, you're gonna you're gonna come down to do this. Yeah, same. I'll drop to the floor. All right. So you, like, there's a couple of minutes as like you guys are sort of walking through this sea of of like morpher flesh, and um. Here's your human line. Here's your gremlin line. They, uh, they kind of like, um, each, like, you're just sort of subsumed and like around them as they're just like, like tongues licking your, your like hand or, or like whatever, pretty much any part. And then like, as that happens, they like morph into a copy of you. Uh, so like you see this blob come up to you and like lick you and then it turns into an Annabelle who just kind of like looks <laughs> at you and like it steps aside and we'll take the direction from Siren to, like, start moving the, the cells and stuff. Which right. I assume is what you're gonna so have them do. The, re the rest of us are... are the, yeah, the rest of us are inside these containment pods. We need as many of you that will uh, that will help to get them to transport up and get, it, get us all safely out of here. Um... See the, as, uh, as the uh, magic man for it's happening a couple times like uh, one of them one of the morphers after like turning into you Annabelle kind of like looks you in the eye and says uh thank you and then you know keeps moving as they go yeah they say thank you to me and all no you're ugly <laughs> <laughs> you're like ah oh, to be this that you get a couple thank yous too yeah if I didn't, I'd start slapping. <laughs> I'm gonna start slapping people. <laughs> Not enough to hurt them. Yes, that's impossible. <laughs> you, you would hurt them. Um, okay, um, so what is Klongberg doing in the vault? Uh, by the way, Siren, you can open up the doors to the vault if you want to. Um, you have control over that. I assume Annabelle like told me what what she said or Did like she? what's going on, right? Uh. Did she? I, I mean, if not, I will ask for an update. <laughs> <laughs> Just like overconf. Yeah, like so. What's going on, with Clone Greg? Yeah, oh, I haven't seen him uh, in a while. He's dealing and figuring out how to use the Cataclysm Project. 
Craig knows that I know. Okay, well, let me know if you want me to open up those doors. I mean, you might as well. Okay. So what's like Craig doing in there after uh, after his conversation with the thing? Standing, waiting for uh, okay. either yells for reinforcements, kind of like, oh shit, we're being overrun. Like, oh, then I time to go, kind of thing. Or so, just the doors to open. He doesn't care. As the um, as the the active morphers start assembling the uh, the containment cells and getting them ready for transportation, uh, are you guys gonna all move into the into the Xenotech vault? Sure, that seems cool. Except for you know Siren doing his his thing from a distance. Uh, but yeah, you, you guys step in and Clone Greg is just waiting there next to this in uh, like bone white sphere uh, contrasted sharply with the like metal the black metal of the, the vault. There's oh, nothing hey, else in oh. here, right? Nope. Real quick, um, do I have access to the robotic strike force still? Uh, they are probably dead. Dead at this point, yeah. Okay. Was that yours? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. They did their job. They served their purpose. All right. I'm just trying to figure out a way to clear floor four. You got your doomsday weapon. Let's go. <laughs> How big is this thing? It's five foot diameter, so... <laughs> oh shit, it's huge! Pretty, pretty chunky. You say five feet? Yep. Can I... So I probably can't pickpocket <laughs> Um, two animals <laughs> you cannot pickpocket. <laughs> Dang it. I am just <laughs> typing out the direct message uh, to you. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yep, it's a little big for that. Um, turns go. out, uh, galaxy scale uh, annihilation is difficult to fit into a handheld object. Into a sticker, <laughs> um, into a pack of gum. Two Annabelles together could carry it. Okay. <sighs> yep, we'll go pick that shit up. Well, can Unless can you want to try to carry it. Yeah. Can I carry it? By yourself? <laughs> Make a strength roll. <laughs> Because I'm a, I'm a strength plus two right now. Roll real high. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Roll real high. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're talking 20s. Um, I rolled poorly. <laughs> you try and get... Like, you, you just can't, oh like... Oh, God, don't drop it! it. You throw your, your back arms out. are not... You don't have the wingspan to, to hold it. Maybe if you, like, got under it, but then, you know, like, it might crush you. You'd have to Atlas Imagine. stone it. Yeah. yeah so like, an ugly Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> a short, ugly, hairy atlas. <laughs> okay, I get frustrated and attack it. Just kidding. I don't do that. It wouldn't matter. I don't do that. It's fairly durable. You couldn't destroy this thing. Is that a challenge? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I will have two of my clones pick up. Alright, yes, yeah, so you like get up on your like shoulder and mostly just using like the mass of the power armor to to bear the load. Um, so you can have I, it. <laughs> While I'm lifting it, can I interface with it? Uh, the, the little, like, neural spider web thing, uh, does, like, poke out. Eh. If you, are you gonna, like, put oh. your finger on that? Yeah, sure. Alright, so it, like, uh, sinks into the skin of your finger, and, uh, Oh man! Hi, uh, I am Legacy. <laughs> like splices into your nervous system. Uh, why don't you give me a vigor roll? <laughs> okay. And yeah, Greg is definitely watching with uh, extreme focus. Oh yes, <laughs> uh, a seven. Okay, so uh, you you don't like uh, suffer any imminent detrimental effect. Uh, it's excruciatingly painful, though. Uh, and you you hear, like, this kind of, like, 
like screeching in your head almost uh, as you do it, uh, like static screech and this voice that says, uh, uh, legacy status not recognized. Um, and the, the pain increases by like tenfold in your finger and like starts just flooding your nervous system. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't recognize my legacy status. No, well, it's genetic. <laughs> it's not honorary. Yeah, it's a gene. Or you got All honorary right. status, but not. Yeah. All right. I'll take my finger off because. Okay. Ow, uh, it really hurts. Give me another uh, vigor roll because it it is not meant. To, it's not meant to interface with humans. <laughs> How about Gremlin? Uh, no, a one. Okay, so you try to get it off initially and like it doesn't come off and you like pull as hard as you can um and it get, comes off but so does most of the flesh on your finger oh <laughs> um so you you take a wound <laughs> so she pops as oh okay that was one <laughs> yep so like the for, clones. <laughs> for a brief moment you see like a like a your your finger stripped to the bone, um, and then she, <laughs> and then you drop it. <laughs> yeah, can uh, I try to catch you? The one that wasn't carrying it. Oh, okay. okay. I have three. Um, no, I, I had the presence yeah. of mind not to do that. <laughs> that I yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. Tried the interface. Yeah, it's not memory based. It's all genetic, I guess. Mm. So it looks like you'll need me to destroy it. I wasn't gonna destroy it. Hmm. I mean, she could so, control you and have you destroy it. But yeah, we need you. Silas asks, if I take a bite of Greg, can I use it? Probably not. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> um. So guys, we still have like enemy combatants that are uh, uh we have to deal with yeah i mean we're let's move <laughs> yeah. uh, what, what's your exfiltration strategy uh by the way both genesis and gene have gone pretty silent they're still doing it oh yeah i was gonna check in with the... i was gonna check in with gene and see how he's doing if i could help him um, you don't want none of this. There's several seconds pause, and then Gene says, uh, "No, be <laughs> quick. Not uh, okay. Can't uh, I, Siren? That's it. No, okay. He's he's doing great. Yep, he's fine. We he's might, fine. We, we might lose him." Well, we have more genes than other ships. Is there like a... Yeah, it's, that's crazy. <laughs> Consciousness fragments. This gene. Compared to the other genes in the ship up there. Well, He's horcruxed. Do we want to break off the Freedom Chaser? Uh, and their psychic duel? You wouldn't have no. access to the... Yeah, I would get out probably... Of killed immediately right okay no that's the last thing we we gotta do oh we I gotta do the teleport immediately <laughs> <laughs> is yeah. there any like so, hardware for genesis I have, probably somewhere i have a path prepared all right what's your path uh down the no, no, not that, that. Right down the catwalk over to the teleport pad. Okay. And then, pop. And then teleport up to the surface. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check in with uh, Kraken. See how often that are they are they sending reinforcements? Um, he actually so he comes back and says that they've slowed down a bit. Okay, I don't know what the plan is. Okay, so a bunch of people are going to be coming up that look Silas and Annabelle carrying human-shaped pods 
don't shoot them. All right. <laughs> Just a horror hey, of us. <laughs> don't shoot the ones that look like our friends. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting you know, it's gonna be hella weird. <laughs> Seems to take it without much uh, hesitation. So yep. Hundreds uh, of the same two like people. Combat mode. Um, all right, so do the they swarm... look like Silas with no genetic modifications? Uh, like... they look like Silas with what? Oh god, that's terrifying. Because like you don't have any eyes, um, but they have oh. eyes, so it's like. It's like they have empty eye sockets with like small eyes at the bottom of the eye sockets that are like uh. morph morpher eyes. It's well, the, very it's, 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 Silas's genetics has eyes, right? They were just taken. Out. That's true. Although they use the that as like a framework to mimic oh, okay. the person visually. So, yeah. <laughs> what do I look like? Annabelle. Okay. Do they have different colored hair? Um, <laughs> like her I natural hair. hair. They, yeah, they have pink hair. But it's yeah, super easy to change your hair color. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are, are we butt ass naked? Uh, they do have like um, sort of like these weird sort of stretchy jumpsuit things <laughs> that the uh, the morphers were uh, encased in. Um, it doesn't really fit them that well, but they're they're not all butt ass naked. Well, yeah, they might have been um, put in those things as, in like human forms, and then yeah, it's like elastic material. And then so. they then they oozed into morpher form once they put it got into stasis. Yeah, still kind of yeah, very very strange to have like an army of, of yous in like underwear. Okay. Yeah, pretty much like just <laughs> bustling around you. Um. All right, so you guys head out and make your way over to the um, across the other side. Uh, there are several like bodies of the the um, security people uh, that are around here, um, and the morphers pick up some of their weapons and armor and stuff and start like like <laughs> just put on this helmet and uh, <laughs> pick up this rifle. I'll say oh, they are partially ahead. armed. Be a little vanguard. Okay, so you head forward um, through the subject. Tell them not to shoot our friends up on top, right? Yes, I assume you're, you've communicated that as far as the plan to them. Okay. Anybody who looks like a ruffian, don't shoot them. <laughs> Any unsavory characters? They're they're our friend. Um, so, Siren, you're staying behind to open the way, right? Yep. I'll okay. Be the last one out. So, uh, you guys pass through, and it's actually, like, 